this is Sheila from What's Up Y'all. Guess what's up today? Up here in the mountains. I remember about two weeks ago, maybe I shared it with you. We had about 11, 12 inches of snow. Uh, we were kind of homebound for at least eight days, eight and a half days. We got stuck down at the end of our, uh, our road that goes out to the main road. It was just a, it was awful. Anyway, so we've been having sunshine. It's been in the 50s, close to 60. And it's been awesome because I'm thinking spring is coming because we want to get outside. We've got so many projects to do. And plus, we just want to get out. You, know, you kind of get that cabin fever. You just get tired of being inside all the time. A lot of times we just get in the car and we just go drive down to the big city. And just so we can get out. But I got up this morning, and 3.30 this morning actually, and I have been editing um, some of my videos so I can get them out and doing those things and uh, of writing back the comments that y'all have been writing me, you newcomers here, uh, new subscribers. Thank you. Thank you so much. I love the comments. But anyway, I want to get to today, this morning. After I did finish doing all that, it was still dark outside. I couldn't see. So I'm, I'm taking my shower and, and I'm, you know, getting my coffee and I've done all those things, the morning things. So I just looked outside a little, a little bit ago. It's like, what's that? Well, I think yesterday was in the 50s, I think. I just want to show you. You want to see? Okay. Let's turn around and look. I know you see it already. Look. Looky what it's doing. Oh, I thought spring was here or coming at least. Would you just look at that? The little birds, they need they don't have any seed. We've got to go out there. I gotta tell Mr. We gotta um put some bird seed in our little let's see if it, if it focuses in. There we go. You see that little bird feet? See them down there. They're going, Well y'all come on out here and feed us. They're out there little chirping, little cheep, 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 cheep. It's pitiful. Uh oh, they see something. It's sweet. I mean, it sounds like spring with them little chirping, but it's cold and it's snowing. I don't want any more snow this year. I just don't. Well, may maybe, maybe what's going on? What's going on? Let's just think positive. Maybe the Lord is like going, you know, all the bugs that you had last year that you were, you were uh, fussing about. Well, I'm trying to help you. I'm trying to shut the door and my light's going out. I'm trying to help you because, you know, if when it's, the ground is cold, for a while, it kind of kills out all the mold bugs and stuff. So I'm hoping maybe this spring and summer it won't be so buggy. But anyway, that's just the positive side looking at it. Today, um, I, got, I doubt we go anywhere. Um, it's this powdery snow. So, and I think after, I forgot what Mr. said, it's supposed to stop snowing, so... Um, I think we'll we'll be all right um, later on today. Hopefully the sun comes out. But today, remember, I don't know in my last videos. I said I had to get laundry um, out of the the um, well, I can't think what I'm saying. The dryer. I hadn't done it yet, so I got to heat it back up so I can get all the wrinkles out, and I got to get that. I did get the cat box today. It's one of my favorite things to do. Not. That cat gets litter everywhere. Poor thing. It's been several days, and it's like I just felt sorry for it. As soon as I cleaned that little cat box out, Miss Possum was in there like jiffy quick, like, Yay! My toilet's clean! Yay! So, anyway, I got that done and started sweeping up all the, um, all the kitty litter that she gets all over the floor. Because when I take a shower, if you don't get that kitty litter and stuff up, when you get out of that shower... Them little things stick on the bottom of your feet, and that is no fun. Anyway, so I don't know what else basically we're going to do today. Oh, I was watching one of my videos. It's called Testimony. 
because after I edit it and put it up, I kind of like to go back and look at it on the big screen to see, you know, to kind of learn. Sometimes you learn from your, your mistakes and maybe I shouldn't have done this or maybe you know, about the lighting. Like now, have I learned anything? This lighting, like, but anyhow, so I'm going to get off of here for a moment and I've got some clothes and the, well, just come on with me. Let's just go do it. Won't too. Come on. Okay. Here we go. I've already fed possum this morning. Let me turn on the light so everybody can see. There it is. Got to get that dryer going. And uh, I got more clothes to wash, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. Ay, ay, ay. So, oh, Mr. just threw some more clothes in here. So anyway, let me go ahead and get that going. And I'll tell you what else. I'll tell you what else I mean. Let's put it on heavy and of course it's kind of like um, it kind of senses it so once it's done it doesn't sense that it's wet and everything that it will turn off and then I'll come back in later uh, I've got the dog blankets in the washing machine that I've got to wash oh let me turn off this light there's the snow out there anywho uh, we laid chicken out last night or yesterday and I got to clean that off you know get all the blood and stuff out of it I'm gonna put it in the crock pot there was a video um, one of the other channels that I've been watching that had this uh, this recipe see I fed possum this morning there's her little food and she ate I only give her like a tablespoon because she gets uh, her stomach's real sensitive so I have to do a little bit that's why this is still here because after she's eaten give it about I don't know 20 minutes or so then I'll come back and put another tablespoon so she can um, digest it and stuff but anyway let me get let, let me look at you guys so so here you go here you go so today I'm gonna try that recipe um, I couldn't find this we got, you see, it's, what is it, a great value. I, we had to go to Walmart to find this. And we went to one of the grocery stores that, was, the local grocery stores, and I had to ask them for this. It's the Parmesan a garlic a sauce. And they didn't have it. So I remember this other lady on another a YouTube channel, Sweetheart. She's just, it's, I think her name is Marina. Anyway, she, uh, uh, she was talking about this dish, and I go, you know what? That looks yummy. And I think I'm gonna try that. So I had to go by Walmart and so we got the um the uh, Parmesan garlic sauce. And I got a, a eight ounce thing of cream cheese, but I'll show you that as we put it together. So hopefully I'm gonna let be letting that uh, cook on a slow uh, all day and have that for dinner tonight. So I'm kinda looking forward to that. Cause I never really show you like what we do as far as dinner wise. Most of the time, Mr. Likes fix. He thinks he's more of a steward. He really does. He likes to. He likes to get in there and cook. He aggravates me sometimes, you know, cause he has his way, and I have my way when I do things. So when I cook, he likes to come in there and say, "Well, what I do, I put so and so and so and so on." I go, "Well, you ain't doing it." This is me. When you do it, I don't come in here and tell you what to put in, what not to put in, or how to do it. I'm very thankful that you you fixed it, or you know what? I don't complain about it. I just sit and I eat it. So, today's my turn. I gotta keep my eye on him because he'll be coming over to the crock pot and trying to add stuff in there. Not by this eagle eye today. I'm keeping my eye on Miss Mr. Martha Stewart. Because Mrs. Martha Stewart's going to do it her way today. Y'all feel me? Okay. Anyway, we'll get to that in a little bit. I haven't made my bed up yet. I've got to do that. I haven't vacuumed today. Those are my daily things. I like to uh, make my bed. You know why? Because I'm a little uh, stupid stink bugs. They're still coming in. I don't know why. Um, I don't know why they... 
where are they coming in from? It's cold outside. And these little suckers, I mean, look, they'll be climbing, uh, climbing on the, the, the window shades, climbing up the wall, and I have to get the vacuum and suck them up. I don't like touching them. They're ugly. They're prehistoric looking. So, anyway, in saying that, I like to make my bed up after Mr. gets out and uh, make it up real quick so them little things flying around don't fly down on my sheets and, and they're up under the covers and when I go to bed at night, them little things won't crawl Because let me tell you, let me tell you, you go, oh, Sheila, I'm going to tell you something. Here's another story. I um, was getting dressed and I left my, um, I think it was that red sweater. Y'all have seen me wear that red sweater. And um, anyway, I put it on. I was just going around doing my daily business. And I felt something on my arm. And I, I start scratching, just scratching. <coughs> And uh, I thought, well, yeah, maybe it's just, you know how sometimes you just itch. Well, and then I felt again, it was tickling. I was going, it feels like something's in my sleeve. I pull my sleeve back, guess what's in my sleeve? On oh, my skin. Them sorry stink bugs. And I don't like touching them. And there he was on my skin. And I flicked them off real quick. They're, I don't know where they're getting in at. Are y'all having trouble with stink bugs where you live? I can't stand them. Another one of my pet peeves. I got one stink bugs. We'll just put them outside, Sheila. No, you're getting sucked up in the vacuum. That's where you're going. Anyway. So, Mr.'s over there fixing his coffee this morning. Say, hey, Mr. Morning. We'll give everybody a little wave. Let me get you on here. There he goes. I'm getting ready to go out and go sledding out there. I got. I'm gonna hook. I'm gonna hook up the mule. Y'all come on. You ain't too old. You just think you are. Well, I do a lot of thinking then. Let me tell you. <clears throat> My camera keeps going in and out of focus. I'm sorry, guys. I'm gonna try to do the best that I can. Um, my son came over last night, and there was a firmware. I think it's called. And uh, he downloaded it into my camera because this camera that I have is, uh, I've read the uh, reports and stuff on it and the comments. It's a Canon, but this this model, and I don't want to give it out, it just ha it's notorious for not really focusing very well. And so you've got to update the firmware, well, which we did. And now I'm still kind of going in and out of focus. It's like I can't move real fast. So, so. so Uh-oh, wait a minute, he's got something to say here. If, you're in, if you are in shopping for a camera in the 500 to a thousand dollar range do not buy a cannon baby don't say that <clears throat> there's a lot of good cannons out there it's just this make well okay scratch that scratch that guys <clears throat> cannons are good it's don't just waste your money. just on this <clears throat> one but i don't want to tell you you know i ain't trying to give bad views out there so that's why i'm not telling you which one i have but bear with me. That's what's going on here. And um, so anyway, he came over last night. We put the new firmware in, and I knew I had to get up today. I want to do a video. I know this is you. I want to do a video uh, for you guys to see. When we moved here, remember I told you we had a lot of DIYs. Well, at the time I didn't have my YouTube channel. And uh, so I have pictures of before and after. And I want to show you, you would not believe how much we have done here in this mobile home. We live in a double wide, for those of you that don't know me and, and mister, we live in a 2007 double wide up in the hills of Virginia. But when we moved here, I guess the people that had it before, they were just not, um, what's the word, mister? They were just not, uh, what people? The, the people that lived here before, oh. they, 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 I guess, I don't want to say they didn't care, but they just weren't on top of things like they should have been. So when we got here, we got a mess. And like I said, somebody go, well, why did you buy it, Sheila? Because actually, uh, when we moved up here, we've got the long driveway to get to our house that we've always wanted. We have um, 10 acres that we bought to begin with that this sets on we were mesmerized about the beauty that's around us and it's just and we had the pond down there i'll put the link to tell you what happened to our pond i'll put the link at the bottom so you can take a look at that because we did have a beautiful pond other than some cattails so 
you need to watch that and you understand. So we had the pond. I mean, there was just a lot of good features. Then once we moved in, we started seeing like, wait a minute. So, and, and plus the things, maybe the things that they had, they liked it, but it just didn't fit us and our personality and our needs. I don't say we're handicapped needs, but like that sh the tub, we took out that, we put in a shower, we took out the garden tub because we couldn't get in and out of it. And it was horrible because we had tile floors and you got to step over that big old wide um, tub part in the front. And if you don't have a mat or something down there, your wet foot hits that tile, shoom, there you go. So Mr. and I were kind of concerned about that. Plus we just needed a walk-in shower. Anyway, getting back to it, see how I go squirrel, squirrel. But anyway, here's the deal. So I've got pictures because I didn't have my YouTube channel, channel at the time. I do have pictures. So I'm going to try to put it together like before and after so you guys can see what we've done. Because, what two old people can do. Oh, did you hear them? What two old people can do. There's still hope for us. Still hope. But anyhow, I'm going to go ahead. Mr.'s over there has got his coffee. And I'm going to go over there and sit and chit-chat with him about what we're going to do today. Oh, that's what we usually do. Uh, though I've already had my coffee, but I'm gonna go over there and sit, and we just go, well, what are we gonna do today? You know, we're retired. It's like, we don't have to do a daggum thing, but it's just nice sitting there talking. I remember back in, when I was younger, and my mother uh, used to live beside me, and on Saturdays, I guess I was in my early 30s, on Saturdays, I would go over there, we would sit and drink coffee. We would spend half the day, if I got over there at 8 o'clock by 12, 31 o'clock, we had been sitting there drinking coffee, talking, laughing, and the whole time talking about what we are going to do th that day. We didn't get much accomplished. So Mr. and I, we, we sit and we talk, you know, like, okay, well, what are we going to do today? We might spend an hour or two. I doubt that happens today. But anyway, let me get, I'll come right back to you guys. But let me go over there and uh, us share some, some, some time and, and talking about things. Hey, baby. Uh oh. I got the snow shovel out for you. It's sitting at the end of the deck. <clears throat> Gotta keep them muscles toned. I'll think of something else in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> He thinks he's so funny. Don't y'all encourage him. Don't y'all encourage him. All right. Well, let me go over there and sit with him. And I got to think of some things that he can do. Anyway, I'll be back at you. Okay, guys. Uh, I was telling you while I go, I had to take a break. Mr. and I sitting there and kind of chitty-chatting about the day and just some community things uh, here in the area but i want to go this is a new recipe and actually i've got it off of one of the other youtube uh channels that i watch and i thought that looks so easy peasy and i like easy peasy things so the only difference this i don't have um i took the skin off i have thighs i don't have chicken breasts i have thighs i'm using what i have but this has also got bone in it so i know that once it's done cooking uh i have to take uh the bone out which that shouldn't be a problem either. So you just gotta kinda compromise and work with what you got. I think it'll still be delicious. So first off, I like uh, Parmesan and I like garlic. And this is, I put this here so you can see. And here is uh, my chicken thighs. And we're gonna do, and I'll try to do this quickly, get this stuff on cooking. Uh, so it's salt and pepper it. There we go. Everybody goes, Sheila, using too much salt. Well, I like it on the front and the back. And, and the pepper. And so, go ahead and do that. Then what we're going to do is that we're just going to go ahead and put it in the crock pot. So I layer the bottom of the crock pot. And get this going. Just fits. Okay. Next... And this is what I tell you, we had to go to Walmart because I couldn't find this stuff. It's the Parmesan garlic uh, I was just telling you early, earlier. Uh, but this is kind of like one of the main ingredients because it's Parmesan um, garlic sauce. 
and you want to make sure it's a soft. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this in here, the whole bottle. I want to taste that. Mm. Oh, that's, ooh, that tastes good. Then we want to get all the ingredients out of that. Then you're going to take your milk. I've got 2% and um, Mr. Drake's 2%. And so you want to fill uh, your this bottle up that you've just emptied out and put the top on it and you want to shake it really good to get all that ingredients out. So if I can get get this back down on here. Come on, why is it not going on? It just doesn't want to go. Maybe I'm not holding my mouth right. You know what? I'm just gonna hold it and shake it. So I'm gonna shake that. Yeah, it's coming out a little bit. Pour some out and try it again so I have more sloshing room. My gosh, what in the world? You think if uh, it comes off, it would go back? This is the, you know what? <laughs> Y'all didn't pay attention, did you? You know what this is to? This is to the milk. Here's the lid. I was testing you. Y'all didn't catch on, did you? Look at that. get all that out of there. Put the right cap on the right container, the milk. And then it says use four ounces of uh, shredded uh, uh, Parmesan cheese. We'll sprinkle that over that. Okay. Then it says put in an, an eight ounce uh, of cream cheese. A lot of people cut, this is, uh, I'm going to try to cut it up a little bit and so I can spread it. It's going to melt, of course, but I'm going to go ahead and see if I can I'm gonna put this in here. It's still going to stick together. Get it all out of here. And I'm probably going to be letting mine, uh, some say like three or four hours. I'm going to put it on low and let it be cooking uh, most of the day because I want to make sure that chicken will be at the point that's kind of falling apart so I can get the bones out. And then what we're going to do then is that uh, I've got some egg noodles and I'll fix that a little later after all this is said and done and uh, mix it with the, the egg noodles and voila, you're going to have your, uh, I don't want to waste any of that. And then, I want to get all that off. I hate wasting anything. It's kind of like the toothpaste. You know what I'm saying? I like to get every bit of it. I saw, there was this couple one time. They had a lot of kids. So I think they had like five or six kids. And I remember it was over at their house. with some kind of gathering, uh, like a Bible study or something. And so we were having, it might have been for lunch or something. We were having sandwiches. And I remember the mom telling the, uh, the kids, um, because they were down kind of like near the bottom of their mayonnaise jar. She says, you make sure you get that, you get that spoon and you make sure you get every bit of that mayonnaise. I mean, she was very, very strict when it comes to that stuff because, you know, with those kids and, and all, she wanted to make sure that as far as, uh, don't want to waste it, throw it away when you could have, could have made two or three more sandwiches out of what was in the bottom of that jar. So anyway, let me go this way and I'm going to turn it on I'm going to put the let me get this down what it's on the side <coughs> kind of want to mix it up I'm just taking my knife and kind of sloshing it around okay so I'm going to put it on low And I'm going to put it on, remember it's said three, four hours, I'm going to put it on, it is about 9.30, 10, 30, 11, 30, 12, 30, 1, 30, 2, 30, 3, 30, 40. I'm going to put it on for eight hours, so it's double, because I got it on low. I mean, you know, you guys want to, there we go. And 
that's it. Yeah, timer, select, low, got it. Okay, I'm gonna set my um, crock pot back over here so I get it out of the way. Put my lid on it. There you go, that's all it is to it. At least that's what I've seen and seen somebody else do. Um, afterwards, they've you know, had their dinner. Everybody's just raving about talking about how good it is. Cross your fingers, I hope it's really, really good like that. But anyway, let me go ahead and I get off of here. I got that going for this afternoon's uh, dinner. It's still snowing here. Um, I'm hoping this is the last snow. But anyway, I've got some other things to do. I still haven't vacuumed yet. I still haven't made up my bed yet. Mr. and I sat and talked for a little while. And then I had a neighbor to call, so uh, just, you know, I got the gift of gab. And she does too. So when you got two people that's got the gift of gab, guess what? Gabby, 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 Gabby. But anyway, we're just talking about some of the things in the community and some of the things that we want to do. So that's a positive thing, right? Okay, well, let me get out of here, put the stuff up. And then I'm off to vacuuming and first get that bed before them little stink bugs, if they want to decide they want to get in my bed, uh, they're not going to be able to. Okay, Mr.'s over there, he's chitty chatting with somebody on his phone and um, he likes to take pictures of the cat and send them to everybody. So if y'all want a picture of the cat, just let us know. He's real good at that. But okay, talk to you in just a little bit. just got finished with making up my bed and vacuuming, vacuuming um, the living room floor. I still got some things that I've got to pick up, but I think right now I'm just gonna just kind of call it today uh, because it's snowing outside. Maybe I'll still be a little busy, but not a whole lot. But uh, I think what I want to do, actually, I haven't worked on my, my crochet and I really need to get started on that. Like my son's, the one I gave him for Christmas, actually it was supposed to be due the Christmas before, but see, now I'm doing my other son, like I did my, my first uh, son, and I can't do that yet. I need to get it done. And um, it's just a matter of just sitting and concentrating and getting it done. So enjoy the things in life that you like. I mean, there's, yes, cleaning is nice and, and you feel good and it makes you feel good being in a, a nice clean home and stuff. But also stop, smell the roses, smell the coffee, enjoy life, and sit down. If you want to read a book, read a book. Do something that you enjoy. No harm in that. Anyway, I don't think anybody's going to be coming up. I'm calling it a day. It's about all I've... I've Got all my chores done. I'm out of here. Y'all have a great day.
Don't mess that bed up. I just made it. You better not go lay down in that bed after I just made it. Okay. So, yeah, enjoy something that, that you like. And I think that I'm going to sit and I'm going to crochet some. I'm not kind of worried about anybody getting company today anyways because it's snowing outside. Well, maybe it's tapered off now. But I bet you we've got like two inches out there still. But, uh, I don't know. I might make a fire in the fireplace. And maybe, you know what I haven't done? What we used to do when we were kids. I mean, as soon as it snowed. I bet y'all can think of it before I can say it. Is that... I remember every time it snowed, I go, yay, snow cream. And my mom would always say, uh, she goes, no, we don't eat the first snow. I'm thinking, well, what difference does it make? And she says, the first snows get out all the impurities out of the air. Well, what happens between that first snow and the, and the second snow? Doesn't impurities and stuff still go up in the air? I don't know. I don't know but I haven't made snow cream in like since mutt was a pup and I'll really like to have maybe a little later on because it's a soft, soft snow the real fluffy snow and I think that that's what I want to do we got some sugar at the grocery store yesterday and I think I've got some um, carnation milk in there and some ice cream I, I, ice cream I got plenty of snow so to make snow cream so we could have snow cream all afternoon and into the night I don't know but anyway I want to get off of here I want to get to my crocheting or just I call it I call it putts around so I'm gonna putts around a little but remember that I love you but who loves you more who Jesus he loves you more okay until the next video y'all have a blessed day Depending on what neck of the woods you are. Maybe it's nighttime there. Whatever, wherever you're at. I'm hoping that you are blessed beyond words. Mwah.